as we told you, trees and tree branches have been coming down all afternoon. And this photo from an Eyewitness News viewer is going to show you a large tree that came down on Zanfagna Street in Johnston. Now, meteorologist Pete Mangione has been tracking the damage all afternoon. He continues our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage now live from West Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Pete. Mike and Shannon, gusty winds brought down this huge tree in West Warwick. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Matthew Crudale was in his basement when he heard the tree fall. I heard a rumble, a bang, and the house shook and everything happened. And I come outside and the big tree was laying here in the yard. He is the landlord and resident here at 26 Carpenter Court in West Warwick. Although the tree did not directly crash into the house, it did clip part of it on its way down. I can't see the top of the roof, so I don't know what's up there. But on the sides, I can see some dents. And some of it, I do have a cut in the wall here. And some of it landed on my tenant's car. Crudale had already lost power before the tree came down in the strong winds, but it has come back on since then. He feels this could have been much worse as no one was hurt and the house appears safe to live in despite some of the damage. Yeah, I don't think it's anything, anything serious. As long as there's no holes in the roof and we don't have a leak, we'll be fine. And I asked the owner if anything like this had happened before. He said six years ago a tree actually came down on his garage. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Tony. The reports of damage have been coming in all afternoon from across southern New England. Our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage continues live now with meteorologist Pete Mangione, who's been tracking trouble spots all day. Yeah, that's right. This fallen tree here in West Warwick is a sign of today's winds. Over in Seekonk, an actual sign came down. Initially for sale, this car will likely be taken off of the market after a sign fell on top of it. I actually didn't hear it. Um, one of our customers pulled into the lot and said, I just saw your sign come down out front. Jordan Gassetti owns Championship Motorsports here in Seacock and has worked here for seven years. He has been through some windy days, but has never seen his sign come crashing down like this. I'm never really crossed my mind. I mean, the, the signs are kind of designed to sway a little bit. It wasn't just signs that were swaying, power lines and this traffic light just down the street were bouncing in the wind long into the afternoon. One positive from the accident, he did say the sign was getting a little old anyway. Get a new sign back up as quick as we can and we'll go from there. The fate of the car will ultimately be up to the insurance company, but Cassetti is not optimistic. I think it's probably going to be totaled, unfortunately. And just to recap things here in West Wark, the tree did actually hit the house on its way down, but fortunately it was not a direct hit and the house seems okay. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.